Hey everybody, how are you doing? Today it is quite a big deal in Canada because it is the annual Bell Let's Talk Day for Mental Health. What this means is that for every social media post that uses the Bell Let's Talk hashtag, Bell Canada will donate five cents to mental health initiatives. Now for those who are not in Canada, Bell is a major telecommunications company here. They are the biggest telephone, cell phone, internet provider in the country. They are a massive corporation. Technically, we only have about an hour left of Bell Let's Talk Day, and I am intentionally publishing this video after today is over, and you will get why as this video goes on. Now, I am in support of any initiative that benefits mental health. We so desperately need the funding. We need better access to services. We need more timely access to services. It is so important. I have an anxiety disorder, so I get it. I appreciate how important this is. That being said, I have some reservations about Bell Let's Talk Day, and I'll tell you why. First, it kind of has this feel that it's a once a year kind of thing, and tomorrow Bell will be all like, okay, we've done our Let's Talk Day, we've done our good deed for the year, now we can go back to regular business and, you know, next year we'll just do it again. It's kind of like something being checked off a to-do list. I do not see Bell promoting mental health at any other time of the year than January. And, you know, okay, sure, some people will say it's better than nothing, but if Bell really cares about mental health, shouldn't they be promoting mental health initiatives year round? Now, I'm not saying they have to give away money every time someone tweets about it, but they should be making more of an effort to keep mental health at the forefront of the discussion all through the year. Secondly, Bell has received bad negative press in recent years about how badly they treat their employees. There have been stories about employees either quitting or being fired or getting sick as a result of the pure stress that comes with working for Bell. Of course, Bell has tried to defend themselves against these allegations by saying, well, you know, it's not true. We didn't fire this person because they asked for a mental health break. You know, that didn't happen. And, you know, I mean, of course they're not going to admit it. So them saying that this didn't happen really doesn't mean a lot to me. That being said, I don't know. I've never worked for Bell myself. I don't know anyone who has worked for Bell. All I go by is what I see in the media, and there are just too many stories out there to ignore. I did go onto Bell's website to see if they have any stated policies about employee mental health, and they say all the right things about providing support for their employees. And I feel like Bell Let's Talk Day would carry a lot more weight if there were more employees that stood up and said, yeah, you know what, I have worked for Bell and their mental health supports are fantastic. I have not seen a single report of anyone saying that. And the third issue I have with all of this is that Bell services are ridiculously expensive. What does that have to do with mental health? We are living in a day and age where internet access is a necessity. There used to be a time years ago when only rich people had the internet. It was a luxury. It was something you got if you could afford it. We are not living in those times anymore. We need internet access, especially over the last couple of years during a pandemic. People need the internet for literally everything right down to putting food on their table. And you know, times are tough. It is hard out there. And if you are struggling to put food on your table, but you also need internet access so you can find a job, what do you do? That kind of thing can put enormous stress on a family. It can have a huge impact on mental health. I don't believe it needs to be this expensive. I think Bell just has a monopoly and they capitalize on it. At the end of the day, Bell Let's Talk Day does put money into the hands of mental health initiatives, which is great. <laughs> Bell also benefits from, you know, the huge tax break they get from the charitable donation and from the massive promotional opportunity this is for them. Is that why they do it? I don't know. I'm sure a company like Bell Canada is not above doing something nice for society just so that they'll look good. But I do believe that Bell needs to kind of walk the talk a little bit more. They need to be promoting mental health throughout the year. They need to be better to their employees and they need to be better to their customers. And until I start to see that happening, I'm not going to believe that Bell really takes mental health as seriously as they say they do on Bell Let's Talk Day. As I said at the beginning of this video, I'm going to publish this after Bell Let's Talk Day because, you know, we need to keep the conversation going beyond one day in the year. 
So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please take care of your mental health. Take care of yourself. You deserve it. I'll see you in the next video. Live your best life and be kind. Bye.